Hey guys, this is Jin here. I'm gonna run a very quick, simple tutorial on how to run Zoom call over Raspberry Pi. So first thing you need to do is actually download the latest uh, Raspberry Pi OS from raspberrypi.org and you can easily get it done using the uh, Pi Images software. It's downloaded from here and then you can actually have this Pi Images software running. Uh, select the latest one. Uh, for the time being right now, the latest release is actually May 7. So you can download this into your SD card here. And once the thing done, you can plug into your Raspberry Pi. So next thing we can go to is actually a Raspberry Pi. There are a few components you need, uh, majorly three very important components. Uh, first thing is actually the USB sound card. A USB sound card, you can get it around 20 ringgit Malaysia to 30 ringgit Malaysia. You can get it easily from Cytron as well. A uh, USB webcam uh, that's actually connected to the USB. Uh, this is because the Raspberry Pi own cameras actually process raw footage and you'll use a lot of processing power. It'll be guess it'll be best to actually use a USB one because a USB webcam like this actually compress the web, uh, the video quality and then send only the required uh, video to the Raspberry Pi. So Raspberry Pi don't need to comp uh, compute so many processing power. The next thing you actually need is actually a good power supply. Uh, when running a Zoom call, you will use up quite a lot of CPU power and especially when you are connected to a USB webcam as well. So it will be recommended using a good power uh, quality power supply, uh, minimum I think 2.5 to 3M. And, and this is a Raspberry Pi 400. As you can see, why we need this thing is actually we need to plug it in to a sound card. Why we need a sound card? Because Raspberry Pi itself doesn't have the audio uh, connectors. And you, they all use. Uh, you'll be good. They actually use a uh, audio sound card itself. It will actually split up my mic and my headset. Uh, the reason I'm not using a uh, HDMI from my uh, monitor itself for the speaker output is because it'll create echo then because uh, the sound will then reflect back to my mic. So a uh, headset is always recommended. To you you want to use for a video zoom call or something like that. So once you actually plug it in and actually boot out the system, the first thing you actually need to check is actually make sure that your Raspberry Pi ST card is actually good enough to use. Because uh, if you use a low quality ST card that didn't pass the Raspberry Pi test, you can run this test here at the Raspberry Pi corner. Go to Accessory, go to Pi Diagnostic, you should run the testing here. If your ST card didn't pass the test, you will feel that the whole system is actually very, very sluggish. It will be good to actually use a good ST card that actually pass the test. So the next thing you can do is actually check out the uh, what you call it, the audio interface you have detected by the Raspberry Pi itself. So you do a right click here, you actually can see a device profile here. You click on the device profile, it should show you at least uh, two or three uh, audio devices you have in this computer. I actually turned off my HDMI here because as I said earlier, the HDMI will actually uh, echo down the sound to your mic, so it's the best to actually turn it off. And some of the webcam, the sound input can be easily detected by uh, Raspberry Pi. I, but I always suggested you actually use the USB audio itself because this will be the most reliable one. And you can see that the analog studio output and analog mono input is selected. So I click OK here. Then we go back to here again. You do a right click again. Then you can select the audio output. It actually, the sound of this Raspberry Pi is actually audio output to the USB audio devices, and the sound input itself actually coming in from the USB audio devices as well. So next thing we're gonna do is actually launch our uh, web browser. So if you download the latest uh, Raspberry Pi, this thing will be fully updated to support Zoom. So let's take an example. Let's click my Zoom link for example. So before that. Remember, do not click this thing. A uh, Chrome Web Store up, uh, app itself will not work on Raspberry Pi. You should click out the link below, the join for your browser site. So just click that. So you'll notice that we actually go into the join the meeting site and then you actually enter the name. But before you enter your name, uh, it would be good that you actually click on this little lock icon here. And to make sure the camera selection is selected to allow, uh, Microsoft is actually to allow as well. And you just want to make sure again, you can click on the site setting to actually see the whole setting of your this website to make sure that the, the all the cameras and microphone input are allowed in, the, in this uh, interface. So if this thing is connected, set up, you can then enter your name here.
let's say this is my pi so let's go join so now we're drawing the meeting you can see the pi actually uh, takes some time to load up and you were waiting for my meeting host to let you in so let's go back to our meeting here the meeting host here then i will admitted the access and then uh, you'll be connected so when first connected right it will take some time to actually boot up the thing so as you can see here is uh, running the device right now so you want to make sure that you actually click in the audio device so you can first test your audio and click in the join audio devices that's a join audio by computer button you click this in and then you will detect your mic itself as you can see if i actually touch my mic here you can see the sound is actually detected it actually can pass through the thing so next thing we are test is actually the video itself you click the start video part and you notice that uh, my webcam is light out you can see actually this video screen is actually detected and you can see on the screen here is actually working very well so now my mic is actually run out so i gonna turn on my speaker here you can see you can hear my sound so hello testing one two three hello testing one two three testing one two three so this is sound is coming from uh, the speaker uh, the, the microphone itself from this side from the raspberry pi connected here so we can easily get this thing done uh, pretty much easy set up the key important thing is actually to ensure that you selected the right uh, audio selection here and your setting here on the side setting is actually work out well i mean sometimes uh, chrome doesn't actually automatic select your default uh, the, the default uh, camera and microphone so you have to select from here so that's why enjoy your chrome making and that's it for me thanks